Welcome to the vlog. This week I'm making meat pizzas, homemade meat pizzas, the whole way from the base, the whole way up. And I'm gonna do a dessert then of chocolate chip cookies, right? So I'm gonna start guys. What you need for your base is you need zero zero flour, that's an Italian flour I got. Now we have to do a retake on the base, so I'll just give you a run through. So, right, you need Himalaya salt, you need Teaspoon of that, yeah, so I have that ready to go. Now, the way you have to do your base, guys, is you have to get your, you have to get a sieve, and over here I'm gonna do it now. So I have 250 grams in that, okay? Now, so what I'm gonna do is, you have to sieve all this out, guys, because you don't want no lumps in your, in your thing. As you can see, you're missing the whole yolk, but, uh, right, well, this is, so basically, yeah. Right, so I have to sieve all that through, right? Now, I'm gonna come back to that to you guys, because we kind of had this done earlier. Right, okay, so I'm keeping going here now. This is the other 250, guys. So what you need to do is you need to sieve all this out, right? And then I'm going to show you what you have to make up for the rest of the mix for this. So just, let me see, I'll get to the bottom of this here real quick. So that's what you have to do, guys. You want to get all that. That's Himalayan sea salt, right? So everything will be in the description anyway. So I'm just rubbing through that with my hand there because it seems to be... Right, so I'll get you through what you're going to need, right? So you're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil. We can get them in without messing it up. Right, just put that in there. That in there. Right, and then you need a half a tablespoon of caster sugar. Right. Yeah, find that in there. Right, this is for your mix. Give all that stir around, yeah. So that's what you're going to be going over there making your base with, yeah. Now go through the toppings, guys, as well now in a minute. You got that? Yes. Right, start again. Now guys, you need a sachet of yeast as well. So you just bang that in there. I'll tell you what this, what, uh, you can see that the hole was wheat, yeah? Sorry guys, we had to retake all this again, but I actually already have the base made. We had a few interruptions, shall we say. Right, so, now, this is basically like, what you want to be doing is make a well in the middle of this, okay? So this is the fun part. I haven't got my sleeves rolled up yet either, right? So you want to make a big well in the middle of this for your for your for your water, yeah. And then you want to be mixing all this together, yeah. Soaking it all up, right. And then I'll have to use my hands, obviously, in a in a moment to to knead it all together, right. So take. So basically, that's what you do, guys. I'm not a baker now, but I'm trying to get it off my hands. Is that, stick that spoon in there. Will you use me two hands, man. Yeah, you have to bring it into a ball, basically, yeah. You just make sure you've it all nicely. I don't know, I was never a baker, but you'll have to see, it'll turn out all right in the end, you know. It's a pretty nasty job, but I have one prepared from earlier, so basically, you're going to have to put that into a ball, if you don't have it on your hands, right? You're going to have to get this into a ball somehow, and stick it in there. Now, I have one prepared over there, I'll show you now in a second. So basically, you put some, put some flour on your ball. That's supposed to be a ball, man. I have the other one as a ball. Right, so, yeah, yeah. Join me back in a minute. <laughs> right, guys, so, basically, this is what you have to do with it, right? You put your bowl, you put your dough into your bowl that's already floured up, okay? Now, you heat up, you heat up your room to help your, help your yeast rise faster. So, here's the one I've done earlier. Okay, so, that should be rising up there now as I speak, right? So, with me, with me lovely paws, I'm going to go through all the toppings, right? So, I have ham, salami, chicken, pepperoni, uh, two types of bases I'm gonna or top or sauces on the bases barbecue or jalapenos all the rest of it now guys I'm gonna do chocolate chip cookies hot chocolate chip cookies so yeah we're gonna be busy in the kitchen right so I said I have a little break so what you do is you have to get warm water and put it over these tea towels yeah and then put it over your bowl and have the room temperature heated up so I'm gonna go making me cookies now, but yeah, that's supposed to rise up now. Two lots made because we made a bag at the first start, start of the first video. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna freeze one and see how we go with that for maybe the next day or that. So I'll crack on with my cookies. Right, so I'll crack on with the brownies, guys. Now, 150 grams of brown sugar, 150 grams of butter. Bring it over to your tin, or your tin, your whatever you call that, right? Now, you're supposed to beat it up with that tin, it says, yeah? It's called, uh, whatever you call it, I don't know. What's called this young man? I don't know. You'll find it. Machine, you better go easy with this one. Oh, look, yeah. It's just a bit bizarre. Look at the way it all got caught in there. Right, join us back in a second and we we'll sort this out. Right, so it said to beat this till it's uh, nice and fluffy. That didn't happen. So, 
Say it's cracking egg into it then as well. So. Fire that into it and see if that happen. Ah, it's coming around there now. See, I, I think the bowl could be a bit small. Like. Did you see the way it's all getting stuck there? Ooh. Right, guys, you need a tablespoon of that vanilla extract or something it's called. Teaspoon, sorry, teaspoon. Alright, so just lamp that in there. And need a little pinch of salt, right? So that sounds loads. Loads, loads, loads. It's more than a pinch. Right, so and then this is kind of stage one, so you just keep mixing all that together, guys, and then I'll show you stage two now in a second when I have all this mixed up. Guys, onto the second next stage. So you need a teaspoon of baking powder. You need to sieve that in as well, guys. Okay, now you see it there, you want to get all that breaking in there, look. Just use your spoon just to get it all through. Then, flour, plain flour. Uh, it's in the description, 200 grams. Same thing again, sieve all that through. And that's supposed to knead into that somehow. Right, probably uh, the, nice, the most enjoyable part of it, I think, yeah? Putting in these. These are the chocolate chips. So you just put these in and then you have to, you have to work it all together with your spoon, somehow. So have a look in there now. Look at that, that actually looks lovely that thing. So you have to mash all this together somehow, right? So join me back in a minute when I <gasps> Right, so here I am with me uh my cookie dog guys. It was looked a bit flowery and all at the start. I'll get it into the light for you. But it's actually coming around. So as I said, you have to leave these in a warm room. So that one there is rising up with the yeast, so it's all looking good, yeah? Happy days. So that's cooking grand now, yeah? Right, so to put your grease through paper now. Remember the little trick I learned the last day? So that'll help that stick. I just put a bit of olive oil on the back of the thing, right? Then boom, right? You want that, you want that to stick to that. Right, this is for your cookies, right? So, well, it's supposed to stick anyway. Right, so, boom. Throw that there. Where's my little thing gone to put these out? I had it not in my hand not a minute ago. I don't know if this will work, actually. You know that management? As you say, how are you going to get them out of these jobs? How thick do I want them? Do I want them that thickness? So. I will look, I'll show you them on the plate when I get them laid out. So I figured the easiest way to do it was just roll them up in a ball in your hand. Doesn't feel very nice like, but yeah, just roll them up in a ball in your hand and fire them on. I suppose I'll clean out the bottom of this. Oh, it's horrible on your hand, man. Oh, it's nasty. I don't know what, what, it, what it feels like. But that one there's a bit small, but oh, it's horrible there. I can give that to the baby there. Oh, Jesus. That's cat. Yeah, that'll be alright, that can be. Right, so yeah, we're going to keep them until for the dessert. So while I'm having the pizza, while we're eating the pizza, I'm going to stick them on, so... I'm looking forward to putting all the toppings on the pizza. That's, that's, now that there, uh, yeah. That could be the highlight. Right, happy out. Right, guys, so I took out my, me, uh, me dough. So I had it all ready. I've got the little kids' ones ready. So as you can see, they're getting bigger as we go along, so... Just pull off your dough like this, right? I'm no expert, but... You have to have uh, flour on your, that might be a bit small. So just pick out what size dough you want. And I'm just gonna show you uh, just real quick. Uh, it's not it's not easy, but just get it over like that, right? And when you see the flour picking back up on that side, flip it back over. Just keep rolling them out with your pin. Plenty of flour helps it roll out. I'm kind of no expert now, but they're not gonna be exactly perfect, but I'll show you as I go on when I'm decorating. When so just keep rolling them out like that, yeah? Yeah. Now, here we go. Just get your sauce, guys. Now, I'm got, they're not staying on that greaseproof paper. They're going to go into the oven on the tray. It's just that I have that for when I'm... Uh, I won't leave that there. For when I'm putting the toppings on, so... They're going for a bit of everything, these, these ones here, right? So, let me go back to the mozzarella. So you just bang your mozzarella on like that. Now, I'm going to have quite a lot of toppings to do, so what I'll do is... I'll stick these, I'll just get them started because I think everyone's having a bit of everything and what I'll do is I can, uh, I'll show you my pizza, probably the most interesting one so I'll top these up and then I'll come back to you when they're all topped up, I think it'll be the easiest Right guys, so I'm just getting them all topped up, they're going to be fair pizzas fair kiddies pizzas, right, so I have now these are the crunchy onions they look nice so I have chicken I'll show you when I'm dressing up mine anyway there's uh, bacon, chicken, 
pepperoni, oh, jalapenos. The oven is heated up. So as you said, you're just going to place them in on the, on the rack, on the oven. No. And then I'll decorate mine. I have the cookies ready to go over there. I'm going to go mad with these jalapenos. So they're ready to go in the oven. These are going to be fair pizzas. Where do you hear the compliments I'm going to get for this? Maybe they might, oh, do they want all that? No, they, they're the kids ones. They're just having, the two youngest are just having their pepperoni. Oh, there's one of them giving out. Right, so join me back. I have a feeling something could kick off. Now the hardest thing guys that I did realize is trying to get them into the oven. That is the thing. Without losing them all. So I'm just gonna have to do with that. All right. Where's my oven gloves? Here's what I'm doing, I'm gonna do half barbecue. I think I've got enough sauce on that. I said not to go too mad with the sauce. Half barbecue. This is my big boy. Half tomato. Sauce. Probably get more barbecue there. Maybe a little bit more barbecue. Got the eye actually. Yeah, I'll open that for you now. They're nearly ready, like so. They're looking good now. So, yeah, what I'm going to have to do is dress mine real quick, or top it, whatever you want to call it. Um, right, just go mad. Oh, no. First, me mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella. Start with cheese, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a fair pizza. I'm going for everything on this, right? Right, right, these are the onions, crispy onion yolks. I might go for more mozzarella, you know that? I'm thinking a bit shy around the edges there. I like me onions, I like me onions. Right, give me more mozzarella. Right, this is uh, bacon, yeah? Bacon. I like me meats, I like me meats. I think I'll go for more mozzarella now, that's what I'm thinking. This is a bit there around the edges. I was getting wrecked out there, right? Go on. Right, I have me bacon, right? Uh, salami, that's beautiful. It smells lovely. It's like plastic, but still. Just ripping it up, ripping it up. So, what have I got? Bacon, what else have I got going? I want ham. I don't know about the peppers. I'm not going to go mad with the peppers, right? I'm not going to go mad with the peppers, right? Here's ham. Of two types of ham smoked ham and then normal ham. Bada bing, bada bing, right, that's that. What else? Chicken, yeah, I have to have some chicken, man. Gotta have the chicken. Gotta have the chicken. Chicken feels a bit funny, but sure. Be alright. There's a big lump there now. I need to fill in the edges, actually, you know that? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, any pepperoni open there, is that? Yeah, this one here is open, yeah. You can put the camera down, yeah. What else have I got over there? I might throw a few small peppers on. Go more pepperoni. I don't want to go with peppers, let's be honest. Oh, jalapenos. I'm going to go with peppers. I'm just thinking it looks a bit bare, like, or is it just me? There's no bacon on it. It looks like the bacon. You can see me breaking up. It's very big. What else am I going for? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my jalapenos. I'll give a bit for your peppers because they're peppers not bad. Small, few peppers. Mexican cheese, maybe. A few jalapenos. Give me jalapenos. They're extra spicy jalapenos. Right, so. Management is checking the oven there as well. I might have went mad with the jalapenos. Um, right, I'll get me Mexican cheese on there. Just a little bit of that sprinkle over the top. I like me spices, I like me spices. Right, so join me back for the oven. Now, in case you're wondering, management didn't have uh, pizza. She had little pita breads, so we sliced them in half. Bit of mozzarella, she's going for the healthy option. Baby spinach, the uh, yeah corn, oregano, and a couple of peppers, right? Um, and she's having them on a pita bread then, obviously with a couple of onions 
And yeah, she went for the barbecue sauce. So that's the healthy option there with your pit of bread, baby spinach, da da da. Mingle it up. And uh, yeah, right, so we're ready to move on to the kids' food. They're nearly ready for serving, right? So myself and management's gonna eat together. There's my pizza just ready to go in the oven, lads. Now it's gonna be too big for the plate. But uh, yeah, no, it's looking good now. I'm just there thinking of that and that's an eat on it. I might stick another little few bits and pieces of something on it there in the back. Right, grand job. <laughs> Now guys, so there's the kids ready to go. They can hear them banging at the door. Mine was a bit, mine was a bit. So there you go. Right, here's management's little pit of bread. So, my pizza's still cooking away. I might meant a bit mad on the little you know, toppings. So I'll just, just begin the cookies now. So you stay where you are there now, management, with your camera over. I'll just bang that in the top of that. Do you know what I mean? Can't go wrong. Right, well I'll be ready now in a couple of minutes. Still need, still needs cooking, right? That's way too. I, I like the edges of mine just a little bit brown, you know what I mean? So. Right, so. All good. Mmm. Mmm. Now, where did I go wrong? Just the bottom seems a little bit. Mmm. They're looking a bit funny, but we'll see how we go. So I'll we'll crack into my pizza. And uh, keep an eye on the cookies. We don't know what they look like. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Right, so here's what happened. So I think this might have come in handy, this little shape thing. So I'm just going to cut them out with that now. People knocking on the door. Yeah, one second. Right, guys, so I got to the end of it. It turned out fine in the end, yeah? So I'll sample a bit of this. This is obviously where I've, uh, give me a bit of the chocolate. Yeah, they're good to go. Mm -hmm. They'll enjoy these. Subscribe, like, hit the notification. Thanks a million, yeah? See you later.